Hi, we are here today to introduce to you some accessories that may help you in living with migraine disease. I'm Eileen Brewer, I'm the Director of Retreat Migraine. I'm here with Kevin Lenneberg, who's the Executive Director of the Coalition for Headache and Migraine Patients, and Shoshana Lipson, who is going to introduce these products to us. So hi, we're gonna start off with a company called Group Medical Supply. And Group Medical Supply has two different lines of products that would be specifically of interest to people who live with migraine disease. The first is their range of different pill dispensers and pill containers. So they have something called automatic pill dispensers for those who people who want something that is a little bit more organized and automated. They also have a wide range of different towers and shapes of pill containers you can take with you whenever you need to. You can travel with them. Some are called like easy squeeze pouches where you just squeeze it and it opens up. And so for those of us who take a lot of medications, which is probably most people with migraine, between our supplements and our prescription medications and our over-the-counter meds, we need to keep organized and we need to have them with us at all times. That's really super important. You can go check out this company. Another line of products they have that's of particular interest with the emergence of the CGRP monoclonal antibodies, which have to be kept cool, is that they also have medication coolers. Now, these are primarily designed for people who have diabetes, but a lot of them can easily be converted to be used for these medications. So if you're due to take your monthly or your quarterly injection while you're traveling, you can put the injection in one of these containers and still travel with it and not worry about it being out and reaching room temperature for too long a period of time, which is wonderful to have that option for us now as well. Absolutely. Keeping medicines well organized and safe is of vital importance. As you said, so many people with migraine treat their condition with multiple different medicines. Uh, we did a survey recently and found that amongst those who are on the, more on the chronic side, on average, people had tried more than 10 different medicines, either currently or over there, the course of their disease. There's just a lot to keep track of. I've been there where people with migraine are saying, I can't remember, did I take my pills this morning or not? And having that well organized, you flip open the tab, that's the morning. If it's empty, you took them. If it's not, you know, you still need to take them. Yeah, I love the idea of the cooler as well. Like I like to go out a lot with my kids and in the summertime, my car gets really hot. So I could just get one of these coolers and throw all of my medications into it to keep them cool. Because even like, yes, the injectables, it's super important to keep them cool. But even pills, I mean, if you read any pill bottle, it's like, keep this in a cool, dark place. Don't cook it and say it gets cooked in your car. So throwing it in a cooler would be awesome to keep one in your car. Absolutely. And it's also true there's another migraine medication that needs to be kept cool called Sprix, which is a nasal spray. And you have to keep that in the fridge right up until when you first use it. So if you don't have a cooler, then basically you can only use that when you are at home. So it's nice to have that option. And another thought is that if you are going to the pharmacy and you're picking up one of the CGRP injectables, but you're not going home right away and it's the summer, that is going to get hot really, really quickly. So it, this is a great option to have in your car when you're going to the pharmacy, picking that injection up and that way you don't have to panic. Oh, I got to get home in the next 10, 15 minutes before it reaches room temperature. So uh, I think that this is a great idea for people who have those injections or if they want to leave medications in the car while they're out and about, this is a, a really good thing to look at. Another company that offers pill containers is a company called Bug Hull. I like Bug Hull also because they have a wide range of options that um, they hold, the, the container stays shut, which may seem like a really silly thing or something not even worth mentioning, but in fact, it's huge. Can't tell you the number of times I have traveled with my big, long pill containers, got to the hotel only to discover everything is everywhere, all over my luggage. And so I love the fact that these really do stay shut. And they also have a variety of sizes. Some of them will take seven or more different um, medications and supplements in them at one time. So again, that's another company to look out for. I, I love what you said, Kevin, about trying to stay organized and us not being able to remember what we've taken and what we haven't. I know for myself that I 100% rely on that. That's probably the single biggest reason. I use these types of containers because I never remember, did I take my medications or did I not? So if it's empty, yes, I took them. And if it's not empty, obviously I forgot to take them. And so not having to rely on your memory is a really big thing. 
I like the variety of different options too. Through my migraine journey, I've had periods of time where I've had to take medication morning, noon, night, and bedtime and trying to keep all of that straight. And like right now, it's different because I only have to take things in the morning, but trying to keep it straight when you have to take what, having different options for different periods in your life and, you know, portability is also a concern. I don't want to be buying a different pill container every time my medications change. So, you know, I think that they have really great options. In that. Yeah. And I've been there where I've seen someone and the amount of time it takes to sort of very thoughtfully put their pills in all the different compartments and then you shove it in the purse or whatever it is, travel, they've all flipped up and you have to do all the work over again. So having those secure lids, it's a real problem and pressure point that I think everyone with migraine can relate to so it, it's a great solution yeah absolutely it really is and having that variety as well so you can have uh, a container that has your medications you take every day and then smaller containers that have your acute medications as well being able to divide that up and again like you say making sure that those don't just pop out it's just such a really huge thing so uh, those are some great options that you can look at with these two companies a third company is slightly different it's called a la carte shopping and they actually offer a shopping cart similar to those you may have if you go to a large mall and you're taking a cart and moving around the mall and putting things into it. So they offer that for home. It is collapsible. It is very tall. You can put a lot of bags in it. It also has a place for a cup, for a phone. And the reason this is so important for people with migraine is that a lot of us have neck pain and shoulder pain, some of us have upper back pain. And so if you go out and you're lifting a lot of bags and carrying them around, that can actually trigger a migraine. So this is a, a, an accessory that could really make a difference for some people. Yeah, whether you live in an apartment building and you need something to move around your apartment to maybe a laundry area or to the shops or from your car to where it needs to be, these things are vitally helpful and takes a lot of the strain off shoulders and necks. It's a product I hadn't thought of. I live in the suburbs and so walking to the shops is not an option for me. And so no one walks in the suburbs. Well, I mean, we do, but we don't take stuff with us ever. You know, we just go for a walk. And, but I mean, I think that it's, it's a really cool idea and um, I could think of uses for it around my house, I guess. Um, or around my neighborhood, but I think that, that this is a great idea so that you really take the stress off your shoulders. Absolutely. So now we're going to move on to something slightly different, and that is a book that is designed for children. So not only have I had migraine most of my life, but also I have two children who have migraine. They're now college age, but I would have loved to have a book when they were younger that would help explain to them not only what their mother was going through, but would also help explain what they were going through as well. And so we tend to uh, forget that it's very important to explain this disease in children's terms to children and that not explaining to them what is going on can actually cause more problems uh, because they can feel isolated, left out, confused, afraid, all the things that we feel as adults, but even more so. So I love the idea of having a book that actually uses pictures, it's bright, it's colorful, it's easy to understand. This particular book is by Ryan Williams. He has an amazing plushie that goes along with it as well. And I would just encourage you, if you have children, if you have grandchildren, go out and get this book. And hopefully that will be a useful tool for you to use in bringing your children into that conversation that's so important. Yeah, I have children. Um, my daughter, who is eight, lives with migraine disease as well. Um, my son, who is four, is just starting to learn what all of this means and how his life is going to be impacted by it. So having a book that I can read to him at bedtime or whenever um, that really explains what, what his sister and his mom are living with is a really useful thing. And also they love plushies, even though they have like a million of them. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, and our last company, again, slightly different because we're looking at accessories this time. So it's a wide variety of different categories that we kind of lump in into that. This is a company called The Dizzy Cook. And the person who runs that is Alicia Wolf, who is also a migraine patient advocate. She is an amazing 
person who advocates for the community and is out there blogging and writing, but she has this company that offers a cookbook that is a migraine friendly diet. Again, for some of us, diet really can make a difference with how we manage migraine disease. It's not for everyone, but it is for a lot of us. And even if it doesn't help reduce the severity or the frequency of migraine attacks, it's really important for us to eat healthy, obviously, because so much of our life, we don't have control over what we do and don't do, but we can control this. So her cookbook is fabulous, but she also has some really fun accessories that go along with that. She has some kitchen towels. She has an apron. She has bags. I would encourage you to go check out her website too. Yeah. And so she has vestibular migraine, which is a migraine that's uniquely characterized by vertigo and dizziness, hence the name The Dizzy Cook. And it's just an absolutely beautiful cookbook, very thoughtfully put together. And diet is, there's a lot of variability. Some people find that one food that's triggered for them isn't for another, but healthy living, healthy eating is important for everyone. And there's definitely, you know, a lot of thought went into the recipes that are in this book. I like the idea of having um, a book that can help you to make better choices. I know in my personal life, um, in the past, I became so frustrated with trying to figure out what to eat and how to eat that I just stopped eating altogether, which is obviously a really unhealthy thing and not good for your migraine disease either. Um, but, you, you know, having people who are there to give you good healthy suggestions and make the process of figuring it out less stressful and less uh, miserable is a really great thing. I love this book. Absolutely. And I think honestly, you know, with this particular session, we're, there's something here for everybody. So normally we say nothing works for everyone, but everything seems to work for someone. But I think this time we can just say there is something for everyone here in this selection of items. And so we encourage you to go check out their websites and see if there's something of interest to you. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks, everyone. Bye.